Hey, everybody. Welcome. Oh, if you're just joining us, what you're seeing here is a group of fabulous artists. My name is Vince Fazio. I'm the Join executive us. director at the Sedona what Arts. What you're seeing here is a group of fabulous yeah. artists. We're, uh, we're celebrating the uh, awards night of our Sedona Plein Air Festival, 16th annual Sedona Plein Air Festival. And this year has turned out to be a very unique event. We, um, we almost canceled the event due to the COVID crisis. Uh, at the time when we were having to make that decision, Arizona was experiencing extraordinary spikes and uh, getting a lot of bad press. And so we almost canceled the show. And then had a discussion with the staff and one of our staff members, our marketing director, Kelly Klemenko said, we can do this, we can do it. Yay, Kelly. And, <laughs> and uh, Kelly kind of convinced us that, that, that he could manage a lot of it. And then we said, no, no, we'll help. And we all have helped uh, mount this show yeah. online. And then I had a Zoom meeting with all of these wonderful artists. And after that, I felt really positive about the show because it was a very positive group of people. And they were willing to do all kinds of, of unique uh, stretchings of themselves to make this happen. We don't usually require of the plein air festival artists that they make a movie about each painting. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, uh, many movies have been made. Um, the, uh, the weather this year was a very interesting challenge in all across the country. We had a kind of a cold snap. And so what we did is we, we went with a virtual festival this year. And um, so the artists have been painting all over the country from Florida to Washington to California to Texas. And uh, a little group of artists landed in Sedona um, as well because we have some local talent that comes into the show. And um, I do want to announce to, to all of you that are watching that the show can be found on SedonaPlenairFestival.org and SedonaArtCenter.org. You'll click on the virtual gallery. And what you'll see is uh, works by about five, five to eight pieces by each of the artists here. We invited each artist to, to introduce themselves at the beginning of this week on October 24th with one painting. And so that painting became the first painting they used to represent themselves. And that painting could be either a studio painting or a plein air painting. And we are giving out awards tonight. The first set of awards we're going to give out are, are just based on that first painting the artist submitted. Then we're going to go into awards for the work that was done during the festival week. Our judge this year is a fabulous painter, Lynn Boyer. Lynn, give a wave. There's Lynn. On my screen, she's up in the upper left corner. Um, Lynn is a painter that I first met in a workshop scenario at the Grand Canyon. And I fell in love with her paintings. I invited her to come to the Sedona Plein Air Festival where she attended for a couple years, winning awards. She's won many, many awards um, all in every kind of venue, including the Sedona Plein Air Festival, the Grand, Grand Canyon Plein Air Festival, uh, OPA Awards, Oil Painters of America, and she will continue winning awards. Um, thankfully, Lynn ha also has five paintings in our virtual gallery. Um, so check those out. Those are fabulous examples, a, a nice spectrum of work. Thank you for that, Lynn. And Lynn, I thank you for being our judge this year. Um, and sticking with us through 
all the changes that have happened. Uh, thanks for having me, Vince. So this has been a very unique year uh, in terms of uh, how we run a plein air festival. And I've noticed uh, a fascinating diversity in the work, not just uh, in terms of people painting from all kinds of different terrain from their home territory, um, but also in terms of style, in terms of medium, in terms of the way paint is being used. Really a nice mix here. Um, what, what did you think about that, Lynn, as you looked over the work? Um, it was absolutely uh, a delight for me because of that. Uh, the range of work was wonderful and honestly, everybody brought their A game. And so judge or not, I just loved looking at the work. And actually I looked at it over and over and over and I looked at it framed and unframed. And um, especially the unique thing, this has been a hard year for all of us. But um, again, the upside was all painting from different parts of the country just brought a freshness and flavor to the show that was, uh, this will probably always be a very unique show. Yes. Yes, besides having to make movies about your paintings. <laughs> 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 Which, uh, I made a little movie myself. It was very challenging. So I commend these artists for the, uh, the way they've addressed this unique situation. Um, and I was uh, just really pleased with um, the quality of the work that came in. And I think one reason we were able to do this is that the Art Center had recently, due to the COVID epidemic, uh, our gallery had been shut down for a time. <clears throat> and so we took that time to invest in creating an online gallery. And so we learned <clears throat> how to present work online. And so it's actually pretty, uh, a pretty rich experience. You can click into a work, you can see it, as Lynn mentioned, you can see it framed. You can, you can uh, have the work, the painting take up your whole screen. But then you can click once more and go into the painting and really see the brush strokes. Um, I often at, at a plein air festival, I'll notice um, that people will, will go in to look close, but they're conscious that other people are trying to see the painting and there's a big crowd there and so on, right? So in this case, you can just, you can get in as close as you want and you don't need to worry about other people. <laughs> yeah, that's cool. So, um, Lynn, are we ready to, to get started? I think we are. And I, I do want to say um, up front, too, that uh, the way Sedona Art Center and Vince and Kelly um, met all the challenges, it's this was probably as good as it could get without actually standing in front of your paintings. Know that I really got to see them. Um, and I was really grateful for that because it hasn't always been the case um, in other things I've judged and trying to struggle with a small image or whatever. Mm -hmm. and, I also, and I also know that trying to create as painters and handle all this technology and the extra demands is a challenge and everybody's aware of that and very grateful that you um you did it and i know how hard it was well it was hard it was hard but it has some rewards i mean there are a whole bunch of movies on facebook that we wouldn't normally have there are uh artists wrote little narratives about their paintings online and i think some of that content is really engaging. I, I read it, yes. I very much enjoyed it. It gave me yeah. insights into the motivation and, and also visiting with everybody and uh, many of you who I don't know, who I hope I'll cross paths with. <laughs> right, so I guess we'll get started. So what we're gonna do first is we're going to be announcing awards for the first painting that artists submitted to the festival. 
Um, we asked each artist to submit one painting on October 24th, and Lynn got a chance to look over those paintings. So each artist was represented by one painting, and that's the opening show awards that we're doing now. We're going to start with honorable mentions. Vince, may I say something uh, yeah, before sure. we launch into these? Yeah, the, thing, the, the thing I said I'd never say, okay. which is, it was so hard. <laughs> <laughs> and I hear judges say that and I go, I will never say that. <laughs> but <laughs> I said it, um, yeah. truly, yeah. It, it was, um, it, there were so many beautiful paintings. Yeah, I find it, it's hard because there's so many, and maybe you'll talk about some of this, but there's so many different quality one could use to, to evaluate, right? In terms of yes. how do you judge something? Um, and sometimes it's, wow, they were at the perfect place at the perfect time. And, and other times it's, they took something, uh, complicated and and made it uh, a really strong composition. Um, there's all kinds of different qualities that one can can evaluate. So um, are we ready to Are we to, ready? We're ready. Okay. We're ready. So there are two honorable mention awards for the opening show that I mentioned before. And the first honorable mention award goes to a painting called Aspen Fall by Susan Hedegar Madison. Are you ready for me? Yes, you're on screen. Okay. All right. Um, congratulations, Susan. Um, each painting that I chose, um, there was a particular special thing that caught my eye. And when I looked at your painting, I chose it because it specifically, it looked like sound to me. It, um, I could probably sit down and play this painting. It's just absolutely <laughs> beautiful. The way you have these verticals coming down that seem to sway and melt. And then they're intersected by these staccato notes on the horizontals. Um, so it's just, uh, so much more than um, some aspen trees and leaves. And um, I, I love uh, the, the violets and yellows, but mostly that's, that's what caught my eye and it's just very engaging. So congratulations. Oh, thank you, thank you very much. I'm thrilled, I'm really thrilled. Thank you. Great. I didn't realize that it kind of does look like notes on a-, on a It does. <laughs> Yeah, beautiful. I like to play too, so I appreciate that. Congratulations, Susan. Thank you. Okay, our second honorable mention is for a painting called Cactus Mardi Gras by Margaret Larlam. Thank you. <laughs> Congratulations, nice. Margaret. Um, Thank you. I I was immediately attracted to this. Um, I don't know if anyone played pickup sticks when they were young, the, all the colorful sticks and you drop them and they fall in a jumble in all different directions. And this has that kind of energy. I absolutely love um, the contem the, the, the composition is be beautiful, but it also has a randomness. Again, like those pickup sticks and um, the states of finish and unfinish are very engaging in the movement through the painting. Um, it, it's, it's just very unique and, um, you know, something I could stand in and just sort of walk around in for a long time. So, um, congratulations, Margaret. Oh, thank you. Thank you very, very much. Um, it, that's, that's really thrilling for me. I think the colors were a little bit um, uh, lifted, but uh, I thought, you know, going to something for um, Sedona, somehow in my mind, it was like, oh, mm -hmm. that'll, that'll do good for Sedona. Well, Thank it you did. Very much for the whole, <laughs> 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 the whole experience. 
Thanks for making that connection, Margaret. <laughs> so um, we're going into uh, some awards now that have a monetary uh, award attached. And I, I want to mention that we are, we're awarding $5,000 in prize money tonight total. And all of that, all of those funds were uh, raised locally with uh, our board members and so on. But it was all started by a local uh, patron and gallerist, a gallery owner named Linda Goldenstein. And we're very, very grateful for her starting the ball rolling and then uh, our board members joining in. So um, we're going to start now with this is the third place award for the opening show. And the winner is a painting, First Hint of Color, by Carolyn Lindsay. Congratulations, Carolyn. Um, I immediately stopped at your painting. Um, this is an absolutely perfectly lovely example of saying everything that needed to be said with restraint and elegance. Um, you knew exactly when to stop this painting and when to put the brush down, which is not always an easy thing. Um, anyway, to me, it just expressed uh, this quiet warmth and um, I was just able to take a breath when I saw it and the uh, composition is beautiful. Anyway, a, a really lovely painting. So congratulations, Carolyn. I think you might be on mute, Carolyn. Oh. <laughs> there you go. Oh, nope, you muted again, I think. Now you're off. Oh, thank That's you it. very much. I'm very surprised. I appreciate it very much. Congratulations. It's beautiful. Thank you, Carolyn. Now we are on the second place award for the opening show. And this uh, painting is a, a very unique work called Green Song Number no. One by Susie Heyer. Congratulations, Susie. Um, I just stopped dead in my tracks at this. It's got, it's just so full of energy, um, powerful and captivating. But the thing um, that, fascinated me most about it um, that I thought was really masterful is how it kind of, it teased me with hints of reality and then I, I sort of washed back into the abstraction and it, it kept pushing me back and forth between those two worlds. Um, and as I really looked at it, there's just so much wonderful mark making and brush work. Anyway, a, a truly fine painting, so congratulations. Unmuting. Thank you, thank you. Sorry, you guys, technology and me. Am, am I on? I'm on. You're on. You can hear me? Yeah. Go for it. Thank, thank you, thank you. Yeah, and um, we know I have no shortage of energy. And <laughs> as far as the reality thing goes, <laughs> Like if anything goes. <laughs> <laughs> anyway, it's, it's really lovely. <laughs> oh, yeah, thank you. Thank yeah. you so much. Appreciate that. Thank you. Very fun painting. Uh, thank you, Susie and Lynn. I, I neglected to mention the specific award amounts here, so I'm going to catch up on that. Um, the third place award, First Hint of Color to Carolyn Lindsay, was a $400 award. The second place award we just saw, Susie Heyer, Green Song Number no. One, was a $600 award. And we're now doing a $1,000 award. The, uh, this is first place in the opening show of the 16th Annual Sedona Plein Air Festival. It goes to a painting called Slow and Steady by Ellie Wilson. Oh, wow, cool. Congratulations, Ellie. Um, your painting 
was is just masterfully handled. Um, it's so beautiful and understated. There's pretty much everything right about it. You managed to put a tree right in the middle of the painting and make it work by balancing your composition. There are these verticals, diagonals, and then these beautiful serpentine shapes that also are a counterpoint to it. Um, you, it's so harmonious color-wise, um, and your, your brushwork is also very masterful. Anyway, very deserved and a beautiful painting. Thank you for sharing it with the show. Yeah, it's a nice piece. Thank you so much, Lynn. <laughs> You're welcome, Allie. Um, I will say it is very scary to put a tree in the middle of any painting. <laughs> so, you did it well. <laughs> thank you so much. You're welcome and congratulations again. Just yeah. a beautiful painting. So we're, we're moving on into a new section of awards. These awards are now for work that was done during the festival. There, there might be a movie about this painting in the, in the Facebook pages. Um, the, um, we're gonna, we're, we have three honorable mentions that we're going to do first, okay? And the first one is a painting called County Road Corner yeah, thanks. by Carrie Garang Ruiz. Congratulations, Carrie. I kept I kept coming back to your painting. Um, there was something really lovely and authentic. And um, the only the best word I could come up with, it it's very editorial. And um, which makes it enchanting. And as I kept returning to it, I also realized that there's fascinating things going on with it. In other words, the cows are facing outward that takes you off the canvas, but then you come back in because they create an arrow bringing you back in that brings you up to the, the beautiful pastoral scene. And it's just a painting I love visiting. Um, so again, just there's an authenticity and an, an enchantment, and um, I love story. So you know, to me, it's just full of story. So um, congratulations, Carrie. Well, thank you so much, Lynn. Um, <laughs> these uh, cows live right around the corner from me, and I've never painted them before, and so this was a perfect opportunity to do that and stop. You know, just like a quarter mile from my house, and and. Um, and capture them, capture their story. So well, thank you. You'll have to tell them. <laughs> yeah, I'll stop by tomorrow. <laughs> yes, yes, I, I just love it. Congratulations. Yeah. Thank you. Mary, uh, you can tell the cows they won an award. All right, yes. I will. <laughs> um, so for our viewership here, if you go to the Sedona Plein Air Festival virtual gallery, you can click on each of these uh, these artists and see their body of work for the exhibition. Or you can look through the eight pages uh, and just kind of casually view the show in alphabetical order by title. So there's a lot of different ways to look at the show and it's a lot of fun to uh, peruse the website. What we're gonna do um, by tomorrow is have these uh, awards um, announced on the uh, on the website, so you'll see all that as well. So we're on number three of the honorable mentions for the premiere, the work done during the festival, and this third honorable mention goes to a painting, Copper Drive Vista, and we're going to see. I think we missed one. Oh, I'm sorry. Oh. Elizabeth. That's oh. okay. <laughs> the honorable mentions uh, don't need to happen in a certain order, but let's okay. go oh. back. <laughs> let's go back. Thank you. To uh, honorable mention number two. Okay. And this is a painting called Last Look by Elizabeth St. Hilaire. Woohoo! 
Elizabeth. <laughs> Congratulations, Elizabeth. Um, this this piece was so notes. fresh and wonderful, and um, uh, your style with all the paper and texture and bits and details, um, I just sort of fell into it. Um, but what really impressed me is that. You know, Sedona is a place that spans eons, you know, on the earth. And when I looked at this, it, it struck me like a map of the passage of time. There were all these wonderful, it was like a journal, a journal of, of the passing of time on, on the earth in Sedona. And um, I, I absolutely love it. Um, it also really reminded me of, I have these beautiful, um, they're patchworks, mirror work patchworks from India made from women's dresses. And they look very much like this, you know, and you can look at them forever. So anyway, um, I, beautiful Elizabeth, congratulations. Thank you, Lynn and everybody. Um, it's so funny that you say it's so fresh because it was the last thing I did. We were all out in the back of the art center and there was several of us painting and I had the watch and I was saying, we've got 10 minutes, we've got five minutes. <laughs> and then she came out on the balcony and she said, it's 5.02. If you're going to get your painting to me, you need to get it to me now. And I, I just rushed it. So that's how you achieve loose and freshness, I guess. <laughs> I think maybe not, not overthinking it. Yeah. Yeah, not overthinking it. Thank Sometimes so that much. happens. I told you it was a winner. <laughs> Congratulations, awesome. Elizabeth. Awesome. Yeah, awesome. Congratulations, Elizabeth. Thank you, Vince. Gorgeous. Okay, now I, I tipped my head a little bit about this one, but here we go. This is the third honorable mention, Copper Vista, Copper Drive Vista That's by good. Susie Heyer, who we've seen before. Congratulations, Susie. Um, you know, it, it's actually not often that in a situation like this, an artist's name comes up twice. Um, but this painting absolutely needed to be awarded in that, to me, it is just quintessentially the energy of Sedona. Mm -hmm. the, it, the feel and light has, of, of Sedona has been caught perfectly. Um, how that light pours off the landscape um, and then back through the trees and the energetic breaststrokes. Um, it's just spot on uh, and so lovely. And so I just felt it, it absolutely needed to be awarded and seen. So congratulations again, Susie. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, thank you. I appreciate that. Um, that's the one I harmonica eyes. <laughs> I don't know. <laughs> Tell me how to do that. I was harm I was trying to harmon um, harmonize it with orange in all of the mixtures, and then I went, "Oh, I'm just going to harmonicaize it," and I just started. <laughs> You'll have to watch. I'm going to I'm going to start doing that. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. Congratulations. Thanks. Beautifully done. Okay, and now we enter the. Uh, section for monetary awards. We have three more awards left to do of the work done during the festival. Um, this one is a $650 award for third place and it goes to Can't Touch This. Congratulations, Paula Swain. Awesome. Congratulations, Paula. Um, I just love this piece. If there was a if there was a secret life of cactuses, this would be it. Um, it's like such great composition, color, riotous brushwork. This is to me, um, holding up a magic lens in the land where like plants talk, you know, um, it's, it's, I, I love it. It's beautiful and definitely um, deserved your award. So congratulations, Paula. Thank you. Thank you. Thanks. I have a whole dance that goes with it, too. <laughs> <laughs> I believe it. <laughs> Beautiful. Well, thanks. Good job. Yeah. Congratulations. It was really fun. That was a super fun one to paint. It, it looks like it. It comes, the fun you put in comes back off the canvas. Yes. Thanks, Lynn. Thank you. Yeah, you're welcome. Thank you. Mm -hmm.
Congratulations, Paula. Thanks. Oh, that painting rocks. I'm just telling you, okay, I love it. <laughs> Absolutely. <laughs> We're down to, um, this is a painting I was looking at buying, but someone else got it. How about that? Uh, this is uh, an $850 award, second place for plein air festival work called The First Dusting by Jane Ann Woodhead. Oh, that's nice. Yeah, Gorgeous. Jane, congratulations. Gorgeous. Or do you prefer Jane Ann? Oh, Jane Ann is good. Oh, thank you right. so much. Oh. Yeah, congratulations, Jane Ann. Um, this is kind of an, I found it to be quite an amazing uh, pa small painting. Um, to have the skill to take what is really quite a common theme and make it engaging again is extra special. Um, it's masterful in its simplicity. Um, it evokes such a, a sense of time and place. Um, and it, it literally made time slow down for me. Um, it's a real jewel and um, happy to award it. You deserve it. So congratulations. Oh, thank you. I'm so honored and shocked and um... And thank you, Lynn. It was a, a really cold day. <laughs> and, uh, it was 18 degrees with the windshield. Wow, wow. So we had to paint quickly and um, maybe that's why I had to get it done fast. <laughs> Those can be some of your best, really, mm -hmm. when you yeah. just focus and respond without yeah. overthinking. And it, 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 there's nothing I can think that you could do to that to make it more lovely. And I'm not surprised it's sold. Oh, thank you. Thank you so yeah. much. Congratulations, Jean. Thank you. Okay, wow, the big moment. We're uh, down to first place winner in the uh, festival work. And this goes, this is a $1,500 award. And this goes to a painting called Florida Friends by Michelle Hell. <laughs> Michelle, you did it! Congratulations, Michelle. Um, I didn't even have to think about this. Um, this is so beautifully painted. The, the composition is perfection. These koi are as graceful and liquid as the water they're in. Your um, paint application and brush handling is masterful. Um, I, it's apparent that you know your subject well, because you could not have done this, um, had you not. And, uh, I just find it a, just stunning and delightful. So congratulations. Oh my gosh. I am oh. so overwhelmed. Michelle. Uh, thank you so, so much. Oh my gosh. And that was Good job. the first day that um, kicked off the festival. And I was, you know, here in Florida and I wasn't particularly planning on that subject matter, but I went to Botanical Gardens and the colors just re really reminded me of Sedona. So I just yes. sat down and had the best day and enjoyed it so much and it just fell off the brush. So thank you yeah. so much. Yeah, ab absolutely stunning. I'm, oh. all, all these paintings, they're so glad that we all got to share in them. Oh, so. thank you so much. Yeah. I am yep. so appreciate it. I'm so grateful. Well, congratulations. Well deserved. Thank you. Thank you. And now you have to go tell the fish. Yeah, I have to tell them. <laughs> Thank you. Aww. You might revisit that spot. I need to. I really need to. And funny enough, I went to another place and did a flamingo. And I got there and I didn't even know there was a koi pond there. And I was like, ooh, should I paint more koi? Like, I just love the experience so much from life, you know? So oh thank you yeah oh. there you go lovely congratulations, well, congratulations.
Yeah, and congratulations to everybody. I could have given out so many awards. You just brought your A game. Um, everybody did. Uh, worked so hard and such a beautiful body of work now that will be shared on the gallery for everybody. Thank you, Lynn. Fabulous job. A lot of uh, surprises in there that were really enjoyable. Um, again, a show that has an amazing diversity of paint handling and subject matter and size. We've got some artists in there painting uh, 30 by 40 inch plein air paintings. Some artists uh, succeeding beautifully uh, with eight by 10 and six by eight inch paintings. So it's a, and a, a whole spectrum of price point too. So it's a really interesting show to look at. Um, we're going to uh, put these awards on the website and uh, with links to the particular paintings. So I do want to announce to everybody looking that this show will be, and for those artists who didn't read their materials, um, this show, will be up actually through the month of November. So these works will be for sale on our website um, the entire month of November. And we will uh, allow artists to replace work um, that, that has sold with additional work. Right now, each artist is limited to six pieces unless they've sold the work. So artists have, that's kind of forced the artists to curate themselves, right? And put their best work forward and uh, do their own jurying before they, uh, they put work on the site. So this has been a, a really beautiful um, exhibition and I really appreciate, Lynn, the diversity of your choices and the, the different reasons and the different, uh, the different kinds of things that you found. So thank you very much. You're so welcome. Um, I also want to announce that this was, is the Sedona Art Center's Year of the Woman. And that's why, Kelly, can you go back to the gallery view? We're that's on gallery view. The gallery view. Um, that's why I'm the only guy on the screen <laughs> is because this year to celebrate the year of the woman um the anniversary of the women's right to vote and uh something that was long overdue we created a plein air festival that was all women and because of the covid thing that happened and so on we decided let's and it was really lynn who who brought this up to me first she said you should invite all these artists to come to Sedona in 2021. And so we invited all of these artists to reprise their role in the first, as far as I know, and first and only all women's plein air festival again next year in 2021. We all believe that will happen live in Sedona. And we, look, we all look forward to it. And I thank you all so much for the beautiful work you've done this year and the extra effort you've made to make it special. Thank you. We're looking forward to coming back. Yes. Well, thank you. Thanks, Vance. Thanks, thanks, yeah. Vance. So well, maybe much. we'll just keep going until next year. <laughs> <laughs> there you go. Hey, Daddy. We can zoom each other. <laughs> Thank you, everybody. Thank you all so much. Thanks, everybody. Thank you, Lynn. Thank you, Lynn. Artists and Vince. And Vince and all the guys. Be good. Be good to see you all again someday, somewhere. Lynn, thank you so much. Great job. This is going to be posted tomorrow. This will be posted tomorrow on the website. This actually is living live on Facebook right now. It's just going to process and then it's going to be available. You can watch it uh, right after this and it'll be on YouTube tomorrow on our YouTube channel. Awesome. Uh, thank, you. thank you, Kelly. Thank you so much.
Thank, thanks all of you for a beautiful body of work. Thank all of you Thank so you, much. Man. You did such a fantastic job sending in all of that. I know how hard it is and we were trying to keep track of it. So you did a great job. Thank you again so much. Thank you, Kelly. Thank, Thank you. Yeah. Thanks, Kelly. Thank you. Thank you.